some people are quick to donate things like canned food or blankets following a natural disaster, but that might not be what organizations are now looking for. 12 News' Kate Cornell explains how you can give more by giving less. Donations are always appreciated during the aftermath of a natural disaster, such as Hurricane Sally. However, there is a smart way to do it. Organizations like the Red Cross and Salvation Army receive thousands of heartfelt material donations every year, but many of them are wasted and create additional burden to an already stressful situation. The Red Cross explains the right way to do it, and it may be the easiest. The main one is a, a financial contribution. Um, people are being sheltered, people are being fed, they will continue to be taken care of. Over the next couple of days, it's mostly going to be cleaning debris and, and, and getting people to a position where they can start moving back home. A financial contribution might not feel as personal, but it will go much farther. Major Bradley Caldwell with the Gulf Coast Salvation Army agrees. He says that between every disaster, there's just too many differences for there to be a standard donation template. People want to help, but it's not always clear what is helpful. So they have an idea that people are destitute, need whatever we can hand them, and that's really not always the case. Both McFarland and Caldwell agree that there is definitely a time and a place to donate material items, but they urge people to reach out to their local organizations first to confirm what those items are, so as not to create a mound of unnecessary donations to be sorted. We've been helping those people since yesterday, and will be for some time. Done. We need to be able to give people what they need, not just what we have on hand. Reporting for 12 News, Kate Cornell.